Check him out, Fresh. that's awesome man I, I just light up when i see that because it's just good to see men responding to trump the way they're doing and, and men who are not white right i mean nothing against white people but it's like Thank God that like white people aren't the only ones that can think for themselves. Visiting Detroit this week and rolling out a new agenda focused on garnering support from black men. But the polls show Democratic support among black voters since 2020 is actually, as you can see right there, slipping. So we decided to go to Detroit for our exclusive barbershop talk series to see what real Americans have to say. Let's take a look. As I always say, the barbershop is the center of everything in the community in black America. So we start in Detroit, Michigan, to figure out what the people are saying on the ground. Let's go. If the election were held today, who would win the election? Kamala Harris. I think it's a coin flip at this time. I really do. I think the country is so divided, you wouldn't have numbers like you have if the country weren't divided between well, the two counties. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty much 50-50. I'm still in between myself. Yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of decisions have to be made. Me being an entrepreneur and a father and a grandfather, I'm looking at where, what state my children will be in 10 years from now. At the end of the day, I'm Trump because I, I, I my eyes open. I can see that he was doing a lot better than what we're going through right now. You can't even go to the grocery stores right now it, without making a, a, a life decision on what you want to get. You know, you got to compromise. You, it, we don't have to go through that four years ago. You know, just being able to just live on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it has become a little harder um, at this point in time. Coming into our country, not just illegal, but they're criminals. 